If you watch my previous video, you'll understand the difference between power and energy. If you're looking at the screen now thinking there is no difference, please watch that video before watching this one. It will make a lot more sense. So, you understand what power is, you understand what energy is. But do you have an intuitive feel for how much, say, 700 watts of power is? Do you have an intuitive feel for how much, say, a kilowatt hour of energy is? Probably not if you're not an electrical engineer. So, let's talk about it. You'll remember that solar systems are sized by their power at midday on a perfect day. So, six kilowatt solar system will produce six kilowatts of electrical power when the sun is strongest at midday on the perfect day. Each panel might be, let's say 250 watts. That's a bit small these days, but it keeps the maths easy. So three of those solar panels together will produce 750 watts at midday on a perfect solar day. But how much is 750 watts? What does it mean in real life? Well, a toaster, when it's toasting two slices of bread, will use about 700, 750 watts to get your bread brown. How much effort does it take to produce and maintain 700 watts of electrical power for the couple of minutes it takes to toast your bread? Well, here's a video we've stolen off the internet, the link to the full videos in the notes that shows one of the world's strongest men in terms of leg strength. This guy here, look at the size of his legs. It shows exactly how much effort he has to put in to generate 700 watts and how long he can hold 700 watts for. Have a little guess of how long you think he can do that for. All right, I'm gonna tell you the answer. He does it for about a minute and then he is absolutely destroyed. Have a quick look at the video. So, Robert, the superhuman German Olympic cyclist with the massive legs, he could hold 700 watts for not even two minutes. The amount of energy he produced, because it was such a small period of time, it was only 0.021 kilowatt hours. So it nearly killed Robert to produce 0.021 kilowatt hours of energy, which was 700 watts for less than two minutes. So I hope now you're getting a feel for quite how much power and energy those solar panels just sit on your roof all day every day produce. Those three solar panels that will produce about 700 watts at midday on a good day will produce about one kilowatt hour of energy each on an average day. So those three panels will produce about three kilowatt hours of energy every single day for 20, 30 years. A phenomenal amount of energy. Compare that to the 0.021 kilowatt hours that nearly killed our mate Robert. 